Whether it's on social media or during lessons, the biggest obstacle I see adult piano learners face is actually one of their own making. It's a lack of patience and a misunderstanding of what progress truly is. In some of my own private lessons, after I explain a new concept and sometimes introduce a new way of thinking, my student will spend 30 seconds or even a minute or two digesting that information, trying it out. And as a teacher, I don't mind seeing that because it first gives my student the opportunity to find out if they have questions. And secondly, it gives me the opportunity to see if they really comprehended what we just talked about. Now, the problem is very often they finish their experimentation and then they say something like, okay, I'll have that ready for you for next week. And I say in my mind, what? What are you, what are you talking about? And on top of that, at times if they haven't gotten or understood a concept in just a few weeks, sometimes they get very impatient and frustrated and ask questions like, well, how much longer do I need to practice this? The thing is, the concepts I'm usually referring to are things like understanding musicality, learning artistry, enhancing your technique, uh, to dive into more objective ideas that are related to these, things like making better phrases, a better understanding of dynamics, learning what differentiates a good artistic choice from a bad one. And yes, there is a difference. Just because you feel it one way does not make it a good choice. There is a massive amount of knowledge about timing and rubato and harmony and context and so much more that creates good musical choices. It's that knowledge plus feeling that creates artistry. And these are all things that even professionals in music strive to continue to learn and enhance in their own playing. And they've been at it for 20, 30, 40 years, 60 years, sometimes longer. Talk with a concertizing pianist or any longtime professor of music, and they will tell you that they never stop learning about these things in their own playing. So there's this huge gap and disconnect between understanding what progress is and vice versa, feeling like you can put a check mark in front of an item that you're learning. And perhaps this is because as adults, you've experienced mastery, probably in at least one field, and probably in a variety of ways. I've had many students over the years who have had extremely successful corporate careers, run their own businesses, do literally classified research work for the government and, and many more career paths, and all of them were very accomplished. Maybe it's the fact that so much has already been achieved that it can be difficult to start a new journey where there's so much to learn. So progress is learning to see and understand a 5% or even a 1% gain in your playing abilities, and then hearing how that small gain actually translates into more musical questions, not fewer and fewer. Progress is not saying, I'm gonna master phrasing this month, and then thinking you've achieved it after 10 or 20 hours of practice. Yes, you will have made progress, but have you truly grasped the progress that you've made? There's a reason why the 10,000 hour rule exists. There's a reason why posts like this one float around on social media. I'm not saying or arguing that everybody needs to become a professional pianist or musician. In fact, if you know me well, you know that I meet students exactly where they are and I work on exactly the things that they value. Whether that's a variety of genres of music or different goals about where they want their abilities to be or to end up, but for everybody, self-taught or taking lessons, at any level, have patience with yourself and have patience with the process. Learn to enjoy the journey of learning. Realize what today's gains are and trust that your practice today is making you better. And resist the temptation to equate progress and mastery. There is nothing wrong with not being a master of something as long as we continue to make progress, even progress in the tiniest of doses. As the saying goes, the more you truly know about a subject, the more you realize that you don't know. So the more questions you have, the more likely it is that you are growing as a musician.